Hey, today we're talking about storing values with the assignment operator. In JavaScript, you can store a value in a variable with the assignment operator, which is this. So here we can see my variable, and this assigns the number value 5 to my variable. In the last video, we talked about declaring variables, and now we're talking about declaring variables and storing values within those variables. And we can think again of our mental model of a variable as being like a label that points to a value. So we can demonstrate this by creating a quick variable, var year assignment operator 2020, don't forget your semicolon. And now if we just do a quick console of the variable year, we can see that we get the value that we wanted. So now we have a way of keeping track of this value of 2020, and we can reference it throughout the program we're writing. Okay, so let's just get rid of this. And next it says, if there are any calculations to the right of the assignment operator, those are performed before the value is assigned to the variable on the left of the operator. Now this might sound kind of tricky at first, but let's just look at an example and try to break it down. So we can say var result, use the assignment operator and say two plus two. Okay, and next we're just going to console log out result. Before we do, we could stop and think about what is this going to evaluate to or what is going to be the value inside of result. So we might think that result would just come to uh, two plus two. So you could see a two plus two down here. But actually, JavaScript is going to look at this expression and evaluate it. And that means that this will evaluate to 4. So let's test that out. And we can see 4 down here. A helpful way of thinking about expressions is something I heard uh, Dan Abramov say in one of his JavaScript courses. He said, expressions are questions that JavaScript can answer. So to the right of our assignment operator is this question, and JavaScript answers that or evaluates that. And one more thing to keep in mind about expressions is they always result in a single value. So there's two things there. Expressions are questions that JavaScript can answer and they will always result in a single value. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And we can see here, um, first this code creates a variable named myVar, then the code assigns five to myVar. Now, if myVar appears again in the code, the program will treat it as if it is five. Assign the value seven to variable A. Okay, so just like earlier, we have already declared variable A, and now we want to say variable A is going to point at seven. So we can say A seven. And so now if we console out our A, we should see the result value of seven. Let's run our tests. Great, I'll see you in the next video.